allows you to speak with you about your future. What do you hope to achieve, Mark? I want to be the best in the world. <laughs> Did Mark Schultz say whether or not um, Mr. DuPont was a sexual predator? Because there's that homoerotic level in the film, but I don't know if that's storytelling or reality or where that came from. Um, predator, uh, no. But the undercurrents of the sexuality you know, of this, um, you know, of this whole venture for DuPont is, is something that people can speculate on looking back. But I, I think it was a it was a complex thing that never became explicit. But I think charged the atmosphere with a certain feeling. Can you talk, uh, Channing and Mark, about the relationship that you built in the screen, the brotherhood, because it seems very real and it seems like you know each other since years ago? Uh, for one, it's, it's very, very easy to be hugged by Mark. <laughs> He's very, very lovable. <laughs> and you just feel safe. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> um, that being said, there is also, he is a very fierce, fierce person when he, when he wants to be. And that also makes you feel protected when you're, uh, you know, within his protection, I guess. But uh, wrestling with him for seven months, essentially, by the end of this film, you create a relationship kind of like no other kind of... Uh, no other relationship can, can be without having that sort of experience together. Uh, there's a suffering and a learning and a humbling aspect to it. And, and uh, I, I truly, I mean, obviously Bennett held my hand all the way through this thing, but I, I can honestly say I would not have been able to survive this movie without Mark. And uh, I feel the same about Channing. And uh, there is nobody more loyal uh, and uh, more committed that I could have thought of to have gone through this journey with. I lost my brother uh, early, and uh, so it was a uh, a nice momentary stand-in uh, while I shot this film with him. And we did, uh, we went through a lot, and it was very confronting. But I love Channing. and. Uh, I'm honored to uh, have gone through this with him. Steve, how do you find the difference between doing comedy and more dramatic, serious uh, characters? It, it's, it's, uh, it's more closely aligned than you'd think. I, I think um, it, it, I approach it the same way. You know, you, you first you look at the character and the relationships and uh, try to ground it. I think, to me, comedy is funnier when there's some sort of tether to reality. And I think the same goes for something that is more dramatic in nature, um, obviously. Um, but I don't think one is harder or easier than the other. Uh, I think they're different, but I think the approach is pretty similar.